good morning. Get me a white tail deer. It's a good morning. Get out in the tree. Frosty. Hey guys, welcome back. Man, if you missed last video, crazy hunt. One of my top three archery hunts of my life. Just awesome. Got two deer harvested, used the compound, had deer walking all under me. It was so great. So if you missed that video, make sure to go and watch that one. Today, we're going out again. Me and Petey, who you guys saw in the, in the last video, uh, we're both hunting today. So he's going to a spot, I'm going to a spot. I'm taking the traditional bow. I've yet to get one with this recurve right here, uh, this bear recurve. Got some new arrows set up. Uh, I've been practicing, but man, it is so hard to get to get a deer with a trad bow. So I'm actually gonna be hunting a food plot today, a different place than I hunted uh, with the compound. Um, it's got a deer feeder out there. Should see uh, some pretty good activity. It's just getting one that's that's close enough and having the eyeballs on us where we can uh, draw back and, and get a successful release without spooking the deer. So that, that's the really tough part. I'm kind of a snap shooter, so I'll draw back and pretty much when I get it to my face, just let it go. But it's dark right now, we're gonna head out. It's in the 30s, really cold. Deer should be moving today, guys. So let's get out in the woods, see some deer. Watch, so it says it's 30 right now. Get down here to Twenty-eight. Definitely the coldest morning that I've hunted. The bow. Grab the bow. Seven thirty a.m. Frosty. Literally got frost on the ground. Nothing is moving yet. I'm up here at a little ladder stand. I got the recurve just right out in front of me. And I'm sitting above this food plot. There's a feeder out here. 25 yards, but it's not working right now. So I just took a couple of pocketfuls of corn and just threw it out there about 10 or 12 yards. Hopefully we're going to get something to come to that. But this is a really big food plot. Really big. This was the, uh, the first spot that we were scouting yesterday. There's literally a, um, a scrape right below the stand. And there's plenty of tracks in here. So I think the deer are just they're a little slow getting up. Oh, there's a deer. There's a doe. A bunch of does. About 10 minutes. Still nothing coming in. I've had two more deer across this creek behind me. 
you know, I can see him out about 70, 80 yards. We're just, uh, just walking right by here. On the move, the bucks are definitely chasing. I am freezing. I would like to see something in front of me to get my nerves going. Warm me up. Look at the bleed point. Could definitely shoot him. over there making a rub on a tree. First deer encounter of the day, pretty awesome. Got another little buck that just snuck in on me. Looking right into the sun, I can't see anything right now that way. He's got steam coming off his back. That sun coming up, starting to warm things. There's a doe coming in that I didn't even notice. She was a little over 20 yards through through the trees. I didn't have a shot. All right, pretty awesome, guys. I'm getting some encounters. The sun's coming out. I'm starting to warm up a little bit. Just a beautiful picture, staring at the, the, the green grass, just glowing with the sun.
already sees Doves off. She's already freaking out.
we could see deer here all day, quite honestly, but for my sanity, I think I, I want to get down. I want to take a shot up here at this angle, maybe go take a few shots at a, at a target before I get back in a tree, because I just, at this point, I'm just ready to grab my compound. But let's take a shot. I'm just gonna pick me out a little spot on the ground here. I think I may do a seat at this time. I stood up, which gave myself even a steeper angle. I probably shouldn't have done that. It's just hard for me to draw without turning my hips. It's a little shining leaf right at the front of that corner. and I just completely solved my issue. Went to three fingers under. Changed, it, I, it made it exactly where I need to hit. So I was aiming for this leaf right here. And then I was aiming for this leaf right here. So they're kind of shiny up there and I'm, um, within a few inches. That's, that's what I, that third time that I shot, I said I, I should shoot three fingers under and I didn't do it. I didn't do it because I always shoot split. Right now, I'm a little down, but I've been here before and I've, I've had a comeback. So let's head back to, uh, back to base and then we'll get regrouped and probably honestly come back here in like three hours or so back at home base and we're getting regrouped right now just uh, went and picked up some gear from last night's hunt you know got all got all our stuff put away cutting out the uh the tendies and our does from last night just getting packed we're gonna we're gonna leave after tonight's hunt hopefully we're gonna be delayed because we're gonna be in the cleaning shed for a little while. But I'd really like to get one more doe, and I don't think I'm gonna get that many opportunities with the trad bow that are this good, or that have this amount of low pressure. I had just an amazing opportunity this morning. I, I blubbed it, I blubbed it, guys. Uh, anytime I hit it in an animal uh, like that, it just, it hurts my soul, especially because I practice it all the time. But the thing that I didn't practice is, is really that steep angle, you know, about 20 feet up and then shooting down only at like 10 yards. Um, normally when I get up high, I'll, I'll shoot out to like 20 yards or so. And just that, you know, almost 45, it just changed everything. So I went ahead and I practiced right then and there just with the broadheads. Who cares? I can resharpen them. I just wanted to make sure. And shooting that three fingers under, completely changed uh, the way my eye sets up and it, it's it's on from there. So I know that deer is gonna live, it's gonna be fine. I didn't even see any blood at all uh, through the back strap. That's, uh, that's not the worst thing in the world, but I, I should have been able to hit that deer and I, sh I should have practiced that shot. But anyways, I'm not, I'm not gonna apologize. This is part of archery and I, I know if you stay in it for long enough, you will experience it. So I am going to um, clean up my broadheads a little bit and just gear up uh, for the next round. So tons of action today, guys. The rut is on like any minute in the stand, something crazy could happen. It's just, just an awesome sit and I don't want to leave. So quick little lunch break. We'll get back out there and look at some more deer. All right, we're back in our tree. Just spotted him. 
nice block across the field. Just kind of moving through. Looking for does like me. That's a big boy. That's a nice buck right there. Another small buck just entered the scene. That buck literally just found a doe. He smelled her, here she comes. He's grunting at her. She's right in that little thicket. She's about 20 yards right now. Big buck coming into the field. She's just wigging out.
Smoker. through but she laid down for a second she got up and she ran but I feel good about the shot guys three fingers under you know that was about 12 13 yards right there just perfect and just hit her right in the lung I just feel good that I hit her in a good spot. Like I was, I was looking at a lot of arrow. I could hit her in the ribs or something. I'm 64 on it. You know, she laid down once and then got up again. I'm, I'm 60% sure that deer is going to be down. But there's one thing I've learned on this trip. Can't be sure of anything when it comes to archery. Every arrow, you learn something. Just like in fishing, you learn something every cast. Or at least try to learn something. Try to do that with archery. Made a good adjustment. And hopefully it worked out. So, let's get down and try to find this deer. All right. This is where we shot that little V right there. Okay. Not seeing good initial blood, which is concerning. But we just had that one side, so just kind of plugged up. I'm just gonna go to where, yeah, this is where she laid down, maybe. Gotta have blood where she laid down. This is not, not what I was hoping. I was hoping to see bright red blood on the brush. Golly. I know I hit her good. Never want to get too excited with a bow and arrow, especially a stick. My recurve is 55 pounds, and that's 150 grain broadhead, so it sh should have got a little more than that. I don't get it. <clears throat> I don't get it. So I watch back the video. It's a nice thing about filming my hunts. I can watch it back. I looked at the shot placement. It's a little high, but it should be high long, like high one long. And this is right, she came across the field right here and laid down. She laid down right here and then got up and ran. And I don't see any blood where she laid down, like none. I just. I don't think I got good enough penetration. There was a lot of arrow. Watching back the freeze frame sticking out. You can see it in the video, just, just flopping around with a big arrow. And then she runs somewhere in here. 
and starts jumping through this tall grass and I can't find a speck. I can't find a speck of blood. And that wasn't even a big deer. It's a little deer. Probably soft rib bones. Like I'm starting to question uh, using the recurve. I like to shoot it here with a bow and then recover it. And uh, the trad bow is, that's just, it's a different level of difficulty. God, I'm just looking for any, anything, any kind of sign, guys. I'm gonna watch the video back one more time. Then I'm just gonna go walking through here, but it ain't looking good. The highs and lows of, of bow hunting. Oh my gosh, guys, she's right here. She's right here. She's right here. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, what? What just happened? What just happened? Thank God for video, guys. I watched it back like four or five times and I saw these dead boat arcs right here. These dead boat arcs. I already came past this trail 10 yards to the other way and I couldn't see, it's so thick in here. I thought she went, I thought she went way back in here. She literally, she laid down once, zero blood, jumped over this log and fell right here. Oh, she made a perfectly fine shot, angling down right into the lungs. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Said a little prayer up there. I was seriously questioning my my traditional recurve primitive bow hunting. I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm if I'm if this is me. Because I'm having some problems. But this right here just restores my confidence, man. Yes! 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 Let's get her out of here. Oh, I was literally about to go back. I was literally about to go back. Oh, I actually lost, I lost my broadhead in there, guys. My insert fell out. We're gonna have to, have to be very careful when we're cleaning this deer. Man, my insert just came out. What an absolute rodeo. <sighs> Crazy day of, of bow hunting. <sighs> and there goes the coyotes. That would have been dinner for those coyotes, this deer, if I had not recovered it. That is a, a strange instance for me where I, I've never shot a deer with a bow like that and not had any blood. You know, just that, that single, single lung, most likely, didn't penetrate very far, but it was enough. It was enough. And it just goes to show you when you're bow hunting, anything can happen. Don't give up, don't give up the search just because you don't find blood and the opposite can happen as well. You get lots of blood and don't end up finding the animal, but Every animal deserves a good uh, search to try to recover. This is going to be amazing meat. I ended up getting uh, three deer that I'm actually going to be hanging. We're going to be aging. We'll come back. We'll do another video on uh, on the breakdown, the aging process, and it's pretty pretty particular. I'm I'm really interested to try this uh, this method, skin on and skin off. So, guys, thank you, thank you for being here through thick and thin. Yeah, the emotional roller coaster of bow hunting. If you've never done it, it is, it is just awesome. Even just getting up in a tree and looking at deer is amazing. And uh, I just had an awesome experience here at Battle Springs Ranch. Uh, I've fished this place a lot, but I've only hunted it a few times. And wow, uh, I've seen a ton of deer out here. So we did our job taking some does out of the herd, thin them up. I think they. 
they wanted like 20 something more, but this is gonna be plenty for me and my family. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope your arrows are flying straight and everything is right in the great outdoors because tonight it is for me. I will see you guys back in the great outdoors on the next one. Oh yeah. Thank you girl. Thank you girl. Thanks for not going too far. Thank you.